gonna replace this old roof jack that didn't really work great for this flatter roof. It had too much of a degree of pitch to it and I already mangled it taking it off. Pulled the chimney cap off. You can see my triple wall coming up through the roof here. And I've cleaned this surface up with a razor blade, just a window scraper. And got that all ready to go. Got most of the glue off of it. The pipe itself is all secure in there. So I've got my Dektite fastener here, the Dekite Deck Industries fastener. I hadn't seen a video of one of these being installed, so I grabbed my scissors. You don't want to use a utility knife. It says right in the instructions, don't use a utility knife. Grabbed my scissors and started cutting around the 10 inch ring. So you can see the nine and a half to, to 10 inch right there, 10 and a quarter. I started cutting around that with the scissors. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and cut the whole way around there and take that off. And then we'll slide it over to this and draw around it with a marker. Now you can see I've cut around it, got our piece all the way off of it here for the pipe size that we've got. It fits great around here. Now what you do, and this is not too steep of a pitch of roof. If it's a really steep pitch, they want you to take this corner and put it up at the peak. I'm not that steep of a roof, so I don't have to do that. You take and fold this or mold it around the ridges in your tin roof. And I'll go around to the back and do that as well. But I don't need to be super exact on this yet because what I'm gonna do is take a marker and trace the whole way around here for where to put my silicone to help hold this down. So you wanna get it like 90% where you're going there. These little ridges don't matter. I'm gonna try and pull that forward just enough with the pipe, a little flex in the pipe to cover those old screw holes so that I don't have to patch them up as well. But now I can take my Sharpie and just trace the whole way around here. And I'll show you what that looks like in a second. See, now we can see where we wanna put our bead of glue, which is just inside that line. So right along these old screw holes that I have here, so that'll work perfect to seal those up all the way around it. We're just gonna put glue underneath this ceiling surface here. So it'll help go inside those ribs and seal off that water barrier. So now I've put my bead of silicone the whole way around and actually hit all those screw holes as well. So I should cover them anyway, but I tried to put a little extra over those and went around the back as well. Now we can push the deck tight down over it and begin putting screws through our strip here to hold it in place. I did forget to tell you guys I had read it and I used the right stuff, but you want to use a neutral cure silicone sealant. So as you're buying this for yourself, but you can see as I'm screwing this down, it's squeezing out that silicone, which is beautiful. It's exactly what we want. It's filling all those gaps in there and making our way along those. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep putting screws the whole way around this and seal it up, but it's working beautifully. This is gonna be a lot better solution than what was there before. My personal recommendation on doing these, it doesn't say it anywhere in the documentation you get. You get a nice little instruction pamphlet that comes with it, but go all one way. Don't like hit the corners and then try and come back around. Start and keep working your way along as you go. And you can get a feel for how many screws you need to have in here and spacing, but also you work out that ripple that naturally occurs in a flexible surface. But you can see I'm getting a great seal coming out of this that I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with a, a little bead as well as I'm going along the outside. But this is sealing so much better than the solution that was here before. 
this is a great example of why I go one direction and don't skip is look at how much it's pulled off my original line back here. Not because I did anything wrong, but because as we're flexing, going around stuff, you can see that it's just moving a little bit, working out that flexible nature of this boot. And so since I had gone inside, my glue line was perfect, but it did pull that back in about, a, about three eighths of an inch. Still way good to go, but you kind of get the idea of why I walk down one side. There's the final.